Well, sometimes making new friends is really hard, and it only gets harder as you get older. But Bo Evans found out that it is never too late to make new friends, not even if you're in your 70s. Well, don't let this group fool you. This isn't a friendly game of dominoes. I protest that. Keep your eye on these two in particular. Ah, uh, watch out. Here we go. So, because she stays with me, she's in trouble. Because <laughs> that's what I am. <laughs> Pam and Beth, the trouble queens of their 55 plus community. You know, we got each other's back. If, if she needs something, I'm right there. If I need something, she's right there. If you just met them, you'd think they'd been friends for their whole life. But their friendship is brand new. I had lost my husband about seven years ago, and I lived in a four-bedroom home, pretty, you know, like a 3,500-square-foot home. And uh, for a while, I did not want to move at all. Seven months ago, she decided it was time to get out of a house that was too big for one. It just seemed like I was getting more depressed. Um, I didn't really do much except go to the grocery store. That's when the two met, thanks to their puppies named Pepper. First day I was here, I was out on my patio, so to speak, and she, I noticed this lady came out and she was holding her air dog named Pepper. One of us said Pepper. And I asked her, I said, did you just call your dog Pepper? And I'm going, why are you, why are you calling my dog? And I said, well, my dog's Pepper. I have a Pepper. She has a girl, I have a boy. A pack of Peppers and two new friends. Well, maybe four. From that first day, the two have been inseparable. Beth is very loyal. She will stick up for her friends. Pam will laugh at all your jokes, <laughs> no matter what they are. Well, every time somebody's doing anything they need help, Beth is there. She's there to help. She's, she's just nice. And everyone needs a soft shoulder to lean on when you're just plain sad. We've been able to talk to each other, and you know, she wants to cry, I'm there, and if I want to cry, she, you know, she's always there. So. But now, they both have each other and their peppers. In Mansfield, Bo Evans, CBS News, Texas.